Hey everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. So, Ruble has dropped in Escape from Tarkov, and the dollar and the euro are trading very, very well. And Bitcoin is up massively at the moment. So, there's a number of publications out there that have jumped on the bandwagon to uh, put out there that the Ruble has crashed in Escape from Tarkov and it's causing players massive headaches and problems. It's really not. But yes, the financial sort of side of things and systems within Escape from Tarkov are linked to real world financial systems. And with what is going on in Russia at the moment due to the invasion of the Ukraine. The ruble has dropped in the real world, so it has dropped in the game as well. So it's a little bit more expensive to buy things at the moment, but that's sort of counteracted a little bit if you've got a Bitcoin farm running because you will be making good money on Bitcoins at the moment. So a little over a week ago, um, 135 rubles would have bought you $1 in the game. It's now 167 rubles as of today, which is the 4th of March. So yeah, it's become a little bit more expensive. So you will notice on the flea market, a lot more people are trying to sell in dollars and euros than they are in rubles. I'm still pretty much just selling everything in rubles though. I'm not too bothered by the price changes in the game at the moment. Yeah, you might not be getting your, you know, your complete money's worth, but I'm not a financial expert. I don't really care. As long as I'm making back some decent money, I'm not too bothered. But there will be people out there that go right into this and like to get their money's worth. So it looks as though putting things into dollars and euros is maybe a better bet at the moment or investing heavily if you can do in your bitcoin farm to get that up and running around a week ago i think a bitcoin was trading at around 270,000 rubles you're now getting upwards of 340,000 rubles for a bitcoin so there are a lot of people that have been hoarding them for a while waiting for a shift in the bitcoin price and that has happened and they're making mega money out of it right now of course bitcoin has seen an increase in its real world value just recently um there was calls for russia to be banned from using bitcoin and for changes to be made so that they couldn't trade in it etc etc but bitcoin is pretty much decentralized so doing that would be very hard to do not impossible you could restrict websites that trading it and things like that but it's being decided against that that won't happen at the moment so bitcoin's price is very much up right now so there are calls from some people uh, you know will battle state games sort of step in and try and fix the ruble in the game i don't think they will they have stepped in recently um well i say recently it was around a year ago when bitcoin prices went absolutely crazy and you were getting i think just over seven hundred thousand rubles per bitcoin in the game there was changes made to how quickly you could farm them and the price was sort of reined in and it was disconnected from the real world trading price for a while because people were just making crazy money you know money was no object in the game and whilst getting rich in escape from Tarkov is what we all want to do battle state games don't want everybody being loaded they want money to be an issue they want money to be something that you think about when purchasing weapons doing insurance etc because the ruble is tanked and it's restricting what people have access to the amount of money that they can make I don't think escape from Tarkov's developers will get involved I think they'll leave it for now because they do like to run events obviously you've seen events where fuels restricted water's restricted money at the moment or one of the main currencies in the game is being restricted so they will probably leave it i can't see them stepping in and i think they won't touch it at all regardless of how bad it gets i think they will just leave it because it'll be a good way to see how everybody in the player base reacts to these changes so for now i think they'll just leave it as it is but the real world issues of sanctions are biting and could it possibly in affect the overall day-to-day -day running of Battlestate games and indeed Escape from Tarkov we don't know at the moment everything's running okay but they do run a lot of servers around the world these will be rented in the respective territories do they have liquid cash within these territories to keep purchasing or paying the monthly fees for these servers do they pay a year up front you know you don't really know the ins and outs of how they rent their servers so it could be that they're rented you know a year in advance two years in advance and it's all paid up and everything's good but if these sanctions carry on and they hit the banks that battle state games deal with could it stop them you know processing international payments to pay for things you really don't know at the moment obviously we've heard nothing from battle state games with regards to anything in the ukraine i have noticed that nikita has been pretty quiet on twitter he's not as very vocal as he used to be on instagram it seems to have gone a little bit quiet with that it'll be interesting to see what his overall opinion is on everything that's going on i don't think he's going to be able to avoid these questions next time that they do a podcast indeed there was meant to 
to do one I think last week it's been postponed and we're still waiting so yeah will it in fact you know will it affect them we just don't know at the moment so here in the UK for them to trade and sell the game here they have to be registered as a company in the UK and indeed they are you can go on what's known as the company's house website and you can search for a company and you can find out inf like sort of basic information but you can also see uh, tax returns from these companies and you're able to see the tax returns of Battlestate games here in the UK I will put a link in the description down below if you want to see the last tax return that they filed which was for the tax year from 2020 into 2021 obviously the current tax year which has just ended won't be on there for some time yet it'll take a while for it to show up but they do have liquid cash here in the UK which could pay for servers if they haven't been paid for would they struggle to get more cash into the UK to pay for servers or would they struggle to pay for them directly from where they are I really don't know right now hopefully not hopefully everything will be okay because I don't want the game to be affected in any way there is a big boycott here in the UK at the moment for Russian products and we hear that it's a lot of UK companies are going to stop dealing with Russia there has unfortunately been attacks on sort of Russian businesses here in the UK and I think that's completely out of order the issue here for most you know sane people is the Russian military and Putin himself not Russian you know not just the everyday Russian person I've got a lot of close Russian friends all of them condemn what's going on and these boycotts I don't really understand them they're gonna hit you know everyday normal Russians right in the pocket and I know that that's been done to try and get them to turn on their own government you know and maybe oust him that's not gonna happen is it at the end of the day it is a shame what's going on but I'm by no means any you know a kind of political analyst or anything like that so I don't understand the ins and outs but hopefully there'll be a peaceful resolution to everything there and hopefully fingers crossed none of this will affect the running of the skate from Tarkov so some of what I might say and people might say well you're just being a bit over the top you're being you know maybe a bit dramatic but you know it's a Russian based software house if they can't process international payments that could affect the running of the game it's as simple as that so but we'll wait and see as I say there should be a dev cast soon we're still waiting for it it keeps sort of being put off and postponed and there's really no other news from Battlestate games at the moment like I say it's gone very very quiet little is going on well there will be stuff going on behind the scenes obviously they'll be working on the next patch working on the streets attack off but there's little news coming out at the moment so there's not a great deal that I can say or put in videos we'll just have to keep waiting for more news to come out and that is pretty much it for this video ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe stay safe and I will catch you in the next one take care